So, hi guys, welcome again to the new episodes at uh, our podcast, uh, Smile is in the Air, your oral health and prevention podcast. I'm Salsa da Costa and today with us we have Harry Morris. Harry Morris is the country sales manager for UK and Ireland. Is running the, the, the sales team, is teaching them, training them, but also running the SEA in UK. So, Harry, how, how is it in UK? Yeah, things in the UK are busy. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, we only, we started the UK affiliate in 2019. So we've, it's been growth after growth from there. It was, it was really positive. I couldn't believe when we opened up the affiliate, I remember the first um, trade show we did, it was for the, it was the oral health um, conference yeah. with the BSCHT. And I couldn't believe how busy our stand was. You know, we had a small table, you know, with, a, you know, just, just a two or three of us there. And there were people wanting to talk to us three, four, five back. Yeah. And I remember thinking then, oh, this is going to be a lot busier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and, it's, and it has been. <laughs> and, and since then, a lot have changed, right? Last year, we started a GBD Summit in London, huge successful house, mm -hmm. a Congress completely dedicated to guided biofilm therapy. And um, the same year, you won a, a prize, an <laughs> award. So <laughs> we were talking about this on the, on the last, <laughs> last evening. Rising star. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. I like to try and <laughs> drop that in as often as I can. You have it on a jacket? We were <laughs> yeah, like... yeah. Just, I carry the trophy everywhere I go. Um, no, yeah, last year was probably the, the, the most positive year we, since we began because obviously as well, we had the pandemic, which slowed, slowed the things down. So to come back last year with, with, with such positivity and growth was, was really fantastic. The summit was definitely the main focus, yeah. you know, something that we were excited to do we'd seen d done in other countries and we knew london would take it really well you know um and it wasn't just people from london either it was it was everyone from around the uk yeah. um but we knew it we knew it would be received well so to get that many delegates to come to one of our events for gbt i think really showed where gbt is yeah. going um because it's it, people are starting to realize more and more that this isn't just something a product for your hygienist this is a way of this is a way of treatment this is a way that you can transform your practice and that we had hygienists we had therapists we had dentists we had nurses we had practice managers all at the summit and we're finding that as well on our normal masterclass events that more and more people are interested in it yeah, yeah. exactly it's, it's really really fantastic so, and that's what we re that's always been the goal you know is that This is for everyone. Exactly. This is, and we wanted that event in the summit to be inclusive for everyone. We didn't want anyone to feel like they couldn't come or they didn't want to come. We really wanted everyone to really, and that's why we put on such a range of speakers as well, to really show everyone that this is, if you want to be interested in GBT, then you, then you should be, you know. And yeah. we, made it, we made it really, really successful. And, and we can see this at IDS, like we have a full booth and, they, and we had people from around the world asking questions about it, uh, how they can have training. And this training is, is something that you focus a lot. Uh, we were yeah. discussing this also uh, yesterday evening, that yeah. you focus a lot in the training for the GPT experts, uh, but also for the SE trainers. Yeah. Why the training? <laughs> I know I the answer, but I want to hear yeah, it from you. Of course, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think the training Last year, when we when I came to a, a meeting in Neon and we spoke more and more about training, more and more about education and being an education company, I, I was excited because I think that's where so many people's passion lie. Not only the passion of the SGA trainers in the teaching and our GBT experts in their teaching, because all of our GBT experts, or well, four out of five of them, are all hygienists and therapists as yep. well. So they're in the job because that's their passion as well they want to teach but i think more and more people have a passion for learning you know and and, and that's where we're that's what we're seeing people really want to be on these courses yeah. learning about something new learning about something different you know and, and that's what we try to offer because i hear more and more that people are getting stale with the same topics you know so To bring a new topic to the to, to the UK and to be able to offer that education, it's been really well received. Um, but it's, it's tapping into that passion, as I say. And, and like I mentioned just a, just a second ago, it's 
you know, it, it's not just the hygienists and therapists who have this passion. You yeah. know, the nurses have this passion. You know, and we, we we're looking to set up more and more nurse courses in in how to and in, in how to for them to be helping with GBT and to be assisting with GBT and the practice managers and how to market GBT. You know, and also it doesn't always have to be GBT as well. You know, we can yeah. offer our education in other areas and other help, and and that's why I think our SDA trainers do so well in the UK, and they're why they're so popular because. You know, you take someone like Christina Chatfield in Brighton, for example. You know, I've been to her courses and whilst it's so fantastic with the guided biofilm therapy content, she also speaks to them what it was like to be a, a woman dental hygienist opening her own practice in the, in the, in the 2000s. And you can feel how inspired yeah. the delegates are from that. You know, and, and, and the same with Faye Donald, she talks about how she tries to connect with her patients. Yeah. And that people love that, you know. So it's not just about educating them on GBT. There's a lot of mentoring going on as well. Exactly. Sometimes we forget that we are clinicians, and clinician is not just open the mouth and let's do the work. Is also talk to the patients and try to inspiring and change mindsets. Mm. So um, and and the trainers in the UK they do it quite well. That they try to inspire other dental professionals how to improve themselves as a person. Too. Yeah, that's what's so good. UK has kind of a fall for social media. We can see that everyone is kind of an influencer in the dental yeah. field <laughs> in the UK. Why do you know that, uh, why do you think that uh, we have this uh, this competence? Is because we are better co communicators uh, in the UK? Mm. Um, or do you think that is also kind of an approval from the other dental clinicians? Yeah, I think there's, I think in the UK, there's the, the, the network, the, the community, of dentistry feels quite small you know because because it is it's, it's a small country with a yeah. lot of people you know <laughs> so it, it feels quite small and a lot of people know a lot of people and I think social media is just a reflection on this so I wasn't really too surprised when Instagram for dentistry in the UK took off like it did because like boom because years before this before social media This is what it was like at events like this, you know, when we'd have them in the UK. We have a lot of events in the UK, a lot of exhibitions, a lot of a, a lot of lectures. And you would see these people all the time and everyone would be together and they would eat together and they would and they would party together and then they would be back in the, at work together the next day. So it wasn't really surprised because I think social media is just a reflection of our real life. Yeah. You know, it's just a networking. It's just a it's just a reflection of people being connected like we do normally. Um, and that was already there in UK dentistry. So when social media came around and people took to it, you know, there were some early people that took to it. I wasn't surprised that it took off so well, yeah. you know, and, um, and that support was there. You know, I think a lot of people in the UK now want to support each other. They realize there's more. For, for sure. Like after the GBT summit uh, uh, last, uh, last year, we went for this gala dinner for the dentistry mm -hmm. awards. And I was so impressed that we really wanted to recognize the talent of clinicians through the year yeah. that we had these clinical awards. Yeah. And people were living this mm. really they to do. the max. Yeah, they do. The, the awards are the awards are quite something, you know, and, and they're, they're peer judged, you know, yeah. so they're judged by their peers and every every awards they have and there are there are there are a few in the uk because there are some more specific like the one we went to was the oral health awards yeah um which is a, or the clin clinical awards is now called and then there's dentistry awards which is in december dentistry awards is crazy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that one is crazy so that one's in leicester and people go mad Yeah. for those awards I will ask you the question that they asked you and <laughs> you took it quite personally like do everyone has an award in the, <laughs> in the UK yeah. no not everyone and uh, then I'm going to ask you do you have an award uh, I have yes. an award so yeah <laughs> and I also want to say that my award is new so I'm the only one currently <laughs> Who has that you're award. special, yeah. Uh, you're yeah, special. Until next year, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. So everyone here, uh, here, the education was is the most important part of your role. Uh, it's taking off in the in the in the UK. So congrats yeah. for that. Thank This you. is your work and the teamwork in the UK. All of them, they are really amazing. Like uh, I, 
They were a good bunch. I appreciate to spend time with them, to, yeah. be, to be honest. They're really good. So for all the listeners, don't forget, follow our, uh, our podcast, subscribe on YouTube, on uh, Apple Podcasts and also Spotify. And uh, yeah, not only Ari Morris, but we will have we have other episodes uh, on it with a lot of interesting people. So stay tuned.